Hey guys, I've got a short one for you tonight, and that is uh, HyperMint, how to audit your media and uh, complete your wheels. guys so first step is just going to hyperspin uh, fe.com and uh, going to the third party apps uh, we're looking at hypermint uh, ultimate auditing tool uh, I'll provide the download in my mega as well uh, but I'll put the description or I'll put the link in the description below and uh, let's get started um, this app was created by horsey um, horsey horsey and uh, He's still active, um, it, mostly on Rocket Launcher, uh, which I'll do a, a tutorial on uh, a little bit later. But uh, yeah, so let's take a look at this uh, auditing tool. Um, I use this uh, a lot, and this uh, basically allows you to see which wheels, themes, uh, artwork, and uh, videos are missing uh, very quickly. Um, there's a number of other tools out there that you could use. Uh, this one just seemed to fit my needs because I was also creating uh, uh, favorite databases uh, per system. So not only do we have uh, the favorites uh, text files that you know you, you can look in the wheel, uh, but you you can also create uh, databases themselves, sort of like a genre. Um, so I, I've got a favorite genre, if you will. Uh, so you, I, I can basically toggle through that. Um, anyhow, so here is uh, HyperMint. Um, so to set this up, you're just gonna click the gear up at the top and you're gonna put in the paths for Hyperspin, uh, Image Magic, if you have that, um, this helps you create uh, wheel art if you cannot find it. Um, so yeah, I recommend that. Um, put in Rocket Launcher settings and uh, Rocket Launcher Media and then you just hit save. So once you've done that, uh, up at the top, we've got two things that scan. So if I click, uh, well, first, uh, the systems here um, are the systems that you have, and I'm under AAE. So if I click the uh, little doohickey up here, um, that is scanning all of my hyperspin media. And if I click this guy, this is the rocket launcher media. So if I look at the, the database here this is a list of all the games that i've got and it shows true or false if the media is there so you can see the the wheel art is uh, always full the theme art uh you know it is what it is uh, it's mostly full for this system and i don't have any sort of box art uh, so the artwork one two three and four that's looking at uh, the hyperspin folders and aae doesn't have any sort of box art um, or cart art, so that is why uh, that's not uh, populated there. And then we've got videos. So to me, videos and themes are the most important to always be full. Uh, so you see all those are true. And then we've got some uh, uh, rocket launcher media. So there's backgrounds, bezels, um, you know, it, it's got the whole nine yards of everything that you have in your hyperspin folders, as well as your rocket launcher folders and it tells you what you've got um, placed. So this is a great way to keep up on your artwork. Uh, you can easily find uh, what you need to you know, complete. And uh, you can also move some of these columns around. Uh, since I like video and uh, wheel art, uh, I kind of smash them all together so I can just kind of quickly scroll down and make sure that I've, I've got everything. So um, yeah, there, there's a lot of tools on this thing. Um, you know, you could also uh, edit the database. So if you click this, so I can go in and mark these guys as favorites if I wanted to, um, you know, I just click the checkbox. And then when I'm done, uh, I just hit database edit off. And that is actually editing my database. Um, if I click the uh, favorites button. So once you've checked all of these uh, that you want as favorites, you click favorites here and that will update your uh, 
your favorites text file that's in your database. Uh, if you are editing names, you can just double click anything in here and you can click save database after you're done. And that's gonna save uh, over your database file. And then if you wanna convert all of these favorite um, games that you've checked that are in your favorite text file, you can click favorite or fave to XML. And once you click that, it will create a uh, XML uh, file that uh, you're used to seeing in your uh, hyperspin folder, your database. And then if we scroll down to, let's say, uh, there you go. So there's uh, some databases and here's a favorite XML. So it, it literally just creates it just like as if it was a uh, uh, genre, uh, which I'll also talk about in a later video. So that's it guys. I mean, there's uh, we could also add it to genres. This is sort of a one-stop tool to edit databases, audit your, um, your artwork. Uh, you can also do some uh, creation. You can even launch your games here if you click this uh, controller here. So that's, uh, that's the ma manager tab. Uh, also, we've got a create tab, uh, which gives you a slew of options. I don't really use these other options, but you know, I suppose you could. Um, the only ones that I, I might use uh, would be the create and then clicking wheels. Uh, this was good for the uh, flash game wheel art. Um, that was the only time I used this. Uh, but basically you've got a slew of different preset options. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's it. So you can see I'd hit preview and this is what the artwork would look like. And what I could do is just hit run and that would essentially create um, that artwork, um, you know, that, that you chose for that system. And there's an export folder, um, that is, uh, in your hyperspin, uh, folder. Uh, you'll want to drop this into your tools and utilities and, uh, yeah, it, it it does what it, it says it does. There's also a 2.0 version. I don't seem to like it as much. Uh, maybe it's because I'm I'm more old school here. I've been using Hypermint uh, a lot more than Hypermint 2.0. 2.0 seems to have uh, uh, different options for your wheel art creation, just like what we were uh, showing you here. Um, but outside of that, um, I stick with uh, the 1.0 version. I'll provide both uh, versions in my uh, mega site so you've got that available but under hypermint you'll find uh, the exports and uh, yeah that, that's uh, that's all she wrote there you just go and find your folder that you've uh, exported um, same thing goes with hypermint 2.0 I'll go ahead and pull that up uh, here in a second um, you could also back on hypermint you could also search for uh, YouTube videos um, but Again, I, I don't really use that. Um, and then, yeah, tools I've never even, this is the first time I've actually looked at this. So if you're uh, trying to audit your artwork, uh, Hypermint is the, I feel like the best way to uh, do that. And uh, you, you just wanna make sure whenever you're clicking one of these new systems, you just make sure you click these doohickeys up at the top to uh, make sure that the scan is complete. So. Um, there you go. It even gives you a preview um, of your video. And there you go. I've got wheel theme and video 100% complete. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, Hypermint uh, 1.0. And as promised, I'll open up Hypermint uh, 2.0 here. And there it is. So it's going to have a slightly different look and feel, but it's still got a very similar feel. Um, yeah, so. The options are up at the top, so it, it's still a little bit different. You can see hyper uh, spin here, hyper launch. Um, you know, you can search for games. Uh, the little bicycle is the, a way to um, actually create that wheel art. So let me go ahead and scroll down real quick. Uh, we'll go here, and if I go to the bicycle, that's where you can create a uh, the simple wheel art, uh, sort of like what I just showed you before. Um, you know, for the flash game wheels, um, you, you can basically do the exact same thing as you did on Hyper uh, Mint 1.0. Um, 
I mean, there's the same sort of options. There's the uh, search YouTube. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what the rocket launcher stats is, but um, yeah, so it's same look and feel guys. Uh, you know, we're scanning the media. Um, so just in my preference, I like the 1.0 version more. You might think differently, um, but uh, pick your poison. I mean, it, it, they're both uh, great tools. It does what you need it to. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, Hypermint. Hope that helps with your uh, scanning of your media and figuring out what all is still remaining. Uh, there are other tools out there. Um, and uh, I might do some other tutorials on that, but uh, enjoy Hypermint.